Hello, today I'm going to show you how I change my strings on my Christopher Dean Classical. I'm going to give the fingerboard a bit of an oil, frets a bit of a clean, and then put some Hannaback golden strings on, which are quite particular. Um, it's not as straightforward as you'd think. So, first things first, off with the old. So, the quickest way to do this is to use string winder. Here I've got an incredible piece of kit made by Frank Ford. Quickest way to take the strings off, have it on the stand, wind them down, do them a little bit at a time. Um, so next we need to take all the strings off the bridge. So these trebles, you can't pull them through from that direction. I'll actually show you in a second. They're actually knotted and I've burnt the end just so they don't slip through. Quite, quite a clean fingerboard. However, now we're going to give it a bit of an oil. We're going to clean the fret wire as well with a bit of silver polish. So we'll start off with the silver polish, something really not that abrasive. I've made a little bit of plastic. It's going to be very hard for you to see. That masks the fingerboard. Okay, um, you can buy them. From Stumac or wherever. I made it myself from a hard piece of plastic that was on a, a nail file. Okay, so not much care needed here. Up and down. So next we're going to apply some linseed oil to the fingerboard. And we're just going to leave it for 20 minutes or so, just to soak in, just a little circular motions, make sure it's right up to the fret wire. We're not using an excessive amount, just enough to cover. So we're just placing it on now, and then we'll, we'll rub it in a second. And then after 20 minutes, we'll clean off the excess. That's straightforward. So this only needs to be done every six months, I suppose, or a year, it depends on what sort of climate you're in. Um, but ebony is, I think, from my understanding, um, it doesn't have as, uh, the same oils that rosewood fingerboards has, and it needs to be fed. Because you don't want it drying out and cracking. Uh, perspiration can dry out a fingerboard as well, take the oils out of it. So it's a really good idea to feed it every now and again. Uh, classical guitar, obviously we're changing the strings, uh, not as regular as with steel string, they do last a bit longer. So, I mean, these would last me four or five months, probably. Uh, well, the bases go off really quickly, um, so I changed the bases before the trebles. So we're just going to rub this in a little before we leave it for 20 minutes. Seems to make sense to go with the grain. Doesn't matter if you have oil on the fret wire, it's all going to be wiped off. Now I have read that um, linseed oil does tend to sort of weep and seep out of the grain of the wood, but you're obviously putting too much on. You really don't need much at all. Uh, I think mineral oil is the ultimate, but linseed oil obviously does the job. Right, so leave for 20 minutes, and then we'll wipe off. Now the 20 minutes have elapsed, let's give it a good, good clean, making sure all excess is off. At this stage, I would, I would wash your hands. Uh, so, Hannah Bach strings are, they're carbon. 
they're thin, they're slippery. Uh, it says they're super carbon. Super carbon. Um, and they are, they're, they're beautiful strings, so lovely and warm. Um, they, they actually do play well for a long time, but as I said, the, the bases do tend to, to, go, to go off a lot sooner than the trebles, but that's the case with four strings. One stage that we mustn't forget. I mean, the whole point of burning the ends is so that they, the strings do not whip out and uh, give you a string burn on your, your beautiful finish. Um, this is for every type of lacquer, not just French polish. So I'm just going to put a piece of paper, thick paper, lovely little painting by my daughter. I'll put it that way around so it's not going to damage it. That, whilst we're stringing, is actually going to be really helpful. So, let's go. We're going to move a lot through it actually, because we're going to burn the string in a second. I don't want it anywhere near the finish of the guitar. It's not a good idea. So this might seem an absolute faff and absolute pain. You'll be so thankful later. No string burns. I had a student who, uh, who had some handwork goldens fitted on his guitar, his lovely Yulongu guitar. I told a technician in the shop, careful it doesn't slip through, there'll be string burn. He said, no, no, no it'll be fine. String burn twice. So, got a tiny little melted ball at the end. We're also going to make a knot, just to be extra sure. So, I mean, this obviously is very fiddly, but we're just going to put it right to the end. There you go, done. Gosh, having nails when you're doing this actually is a pain. <laughs> it's, a, it's a case for playing with no nails. <laughs> Let's put some wound strings on. Okay. Oh, they are actually golden. Beautiful. Okay, um, if you like haven't got your glasses or whatever, or you, you, know, you can't take them. The way you tell intention on strings is you can just do that. There's, there's, there's much more give on the lighter string, which is fantastic. Okay, right, so these strings actually do seem to be the same each end. Um, but other strings, they have less winding around one end. And some people think actually that's the part you use, you put it onto the bridge. Nonsense. It's just as it's come out of the machine, they leave it on. So you just have that less wound part of the string up at the peg end, um, and then you know trim off if, whatever you wish to do. Okay, so we're having all the loose ends going in the same direction as this, I think, which would be nice. I'm going to leave. I don't know, what's that, a centimetre? It's probably a little bit excessive. I mean, it should grip. I'm, I really doubt I'm going to have an issue with the D string slipping. Next stage on the guitar stand, we're going to tie each string. So really simple here, I mean not, not rocket science, straight through, loop it round and you're just making a very small knot, or a small loop, pull it and then we're going to wind it through to the right hand side so that it's, the, it's in line with the slot in the knot. This time we're going to wind it to the left, so that it's in line with the slot on the nut. And then again, neatly going round. So just make sure that 
they're not overlapping each other. Make sure they're in a neat line. Just enough to be taut. Again, check the other end. Finally, basing. So this one is going to go to the left. Right, now the exciting bit. Tuning up. So, notoriously, I have students coming to me all the time my guitar won't tune. Um, so I bought a new guitar, they've tuned it up for the first time, um, it was after it was delivered, and basically it just, they wonder why after a week it still won't tune. It's just nylon strings or carbon strings. They, they literally um, take a long time to, to tune up to, to the correct pitch. Steel string obviously is a very different situation, it's very quick, very gently, very evenly. We'll just sort of stretch the string we don't want any kinks in it. We don't want to pull any particular section more than another. Just very gently. We're just giving it a bit of a head start. Um, sort of stretching it a little bit. The wound strings are going to stay in tune much more easily than the unwound strings. Okay, then... So this fifth position, tuning, I wouldn't recommend it. But for now, we just need to get them roughly to pitch, then we'll fine tune in a minute. Gosh, it seems quite a long way to go, isn't it? In times as that happens. Right, and then, you know, that's quite neat. I didn't look at it as a wound them on. They're fine, absolutely fine. Um, and also, I wouldn't cut off the ends because if it, if it breaks on the saddle or the bridge, you've still got a little bit of string left and you can restring it. Um, so just give it a wipe. Bit of a dust. This guitar is mostly clean, so that's not an issue. But any bits of grease, any bits of oil when you oil the fingerboard just make sure that they've all gone and uh fanny's your aunt bob's your uncle job done thank you very much